Now, normally, this is the GB News pub, but I have a feeling that tonight's guest is turning it into something slightly different. No, tonight's guest is an award-winning celebrity chef, very well-known figure, very successful figure. His name is Aldo Zilli, you've certainly heard of it, and I think that tonight he might have just turned our pub into something more resembling a restaurant. And here he is getting all the food ready, and this is amazing. And thank goodness I've lost all this weight. Aldo, you're really pushing out the boat here. This is completely wonderful. There's um, your knife and fork. Oh, well done. Thank you, you so much. OK, I'd better sit down and... you better sit down. Properly. Uh, let me ask you a question. How does, uh, how does a young Italian boy of nine from the Adriatic coast... Um, suddenly become this famous... Go on, tell me how much research ...celebrity <laughs> chef, you know, and <laughs> books and TV programmes and goodness knows what else. How did it all happen? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I came here by chance for a two-week... Uh, for a two-week yeah. holiday. Now, what, what's this, some prawns? That's prawns. Yeah. Right, well, let me dig in a There's bit. There's some yeah. uh, buffalo mozzarella here. Fantastic. Mothers, some arancini. Fantastic. Some penne with mozzarella here. There's a little bit of bread yeah. here. Gets better and better. Look at that. Gets yeah. better and better. But no, keep so talking, anyway, please. Yeah, and then um, age uh, 17, I was in Germany homeless. Then I uh, found a job, and then, cut long story short, I met a young lady, and she brought me to London. I see. And, uh, so you came here for love? I came here for love. I mean, it's the Italians that are supposed to be the romantics, not us, but... <laughs> no, no, but well, I was romantic, because I, I, followed, I followed her all the way here. And um, to be fair to the young lady, I kind of fell in love with the, the language, the, the people. Uh, you know, I'd been around Europe already, although I was only 19, but I left yep. my family very young, because I'm the youngest of nine. Mm. And I left because I was hungry. Uh, but when you came here... 1976, I think it was, that you came. Yeah, I had to go to the... It was like now, right? It was like the Brexit is back. So I had to go to the uh, home office, mm -hmm. I had to register, like the Italians have to do now, if they want to And what's wrong here. with that? Nothing at all. OK. We, we love it. We love Brexit. You might have Brexit. <laughs> I'm not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> Running my business is a nightmare. <laughs> But when you, but when it, well, no, look, you know... At I the mean, moment it is. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's some settling down to do, yeah. but, we, we, you know, we, I mean, I didn't get you on to discuss Brexit particularly, but... but well, we but, can. But we can, and we might at the end. If you're brave. But, 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 <laughs> but, 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 but culture is what interests me, because when you came here in 1976, mm -hmm. this was a country still that had not recovered from the rationing of two world wars. Right. British food was pretty be awful. Yeah. You know, outside a few central London restaurants, there was very little choice. Provincially, yeah. there was almost nothing. Yeah. You know, fish and chips was as good as it got. And it could be very good or it could yeah. be awful. Yeah. I mean, it must have been a shock to you coming from Italy to see the food culture. It was a yeah. big shock because um, I couldn't even find olive oil. No, I'm sure. Uh, it, was, it was hard to find ingredients. It was hard to find um, good restaurants to go to work, mm. to, to actually get a job. Uh, was difficult. I found a job in a hotel. Yep. And uh, because it was a hotel, of course, the cuisine was English, was British, and uh, we, as staff, got very, good. got very little to eat, uh, and uh, we got given glasses of milk to drink w with our dinner, which was a bit weird, but nevertheless, I really liked the country. I li uh, it was a hotel, was in the countryside. I really enjoyed it. And then I got fed up. I, wanted, I left my little village to go into a big city, so I wanted to be in London. So London, for me, was Soho. Soho was Little yep. Italy. Yep. Even then, in those days, yep. there was, I remember, eight restaurants in one street, in Dean Street. And there was Italian delis, there was... I felt at home mm. when I got to Soho. And that was where... But that, but that was a tiny part of the UK. Of, of the UK, yeah. Of the, so of the Britain. food revolution... Is it people like you that have sparked the food revolution? Is it a sort of awakening of the British well, Italian food? food in those days was very hard to find good food. Outside of London, you know, you, you got your chicken Kiev, maybe, if you, you were, were lucky. lucky. Some yeah. oily lasagna yeah. and some cannelloni. <laughs> 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 you know, pizza was uh, touch and go. Uh, you know, the, the, the word was there, but the, the actual dough was not what we yeah. do now. And, 
you know, it's evolved into this amazing um, thing now. The Italian food is everybody's food. It's a family uh, affair. People, you know, we, we do takeaways and deliveries from home. And it's been... So a, you've used lockdown, haven't you? To sort I've of, used, yeah, yeah. I mean, you kind of quite cleverly... Yeah. ...used lockdown, because obviously the restaurant business having a terrible time, you sort of... We evolved in... Home lockdown. delivery service and all the rest of it. Yeah, 100%. Casa Zilli was born in lockdown and is thriving. Now, we, what we've done to get one better, we've opened our gardens and we've got igloos, so people come, they book them... Yep. ...and they eat outside... And people say to me, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm in your house. And I said to them, no, let me remind you, you're not in my house, you're in my garden in an igloo. <laughs> you've so, made an amazing success of what you've done here and you've made money and you've done incredibly well and got a degree of fame and all the rest of it. When you look back at your native Italy, it's not having such a happy time, is it? No. No, my growing up years were tough. Youngest of nine, mm. no food. Uh, my dad had uh, this amazing idea of selling uh, or moving from a farm that we used to run and moving by the sea. And that's where my love affair for fish had to start because mm. um, we only had... My mum never had anything to cook then because the, the farm wasn't there anymore. So she couldn't grow. She used to grow all her own food. And this is why I think I'm loving what I'm doing now because it's brought me back into the countryside because I, I have 18 acres of land now and I grow everything I can. So that's... I, I think I've gone back into my yeah. younger... But your home country, the north and south of Italy, divided in the most horrendous way. In um, those days, it was terrible. The, but the economics today of Italy, not good. No, no, of course not. Not good. Yes. I mean, it's gone... The football is not bad. I mean, the food's still great, the culture. Not the still, football. You know, the football. <laughs> <laughs> and the people are lovely. Yeah. But I, in the 90s, I did a lot of business in Italy, in, mm -hmm. North, in, in northern Italy, with big industrial companies, big manufacturers in northern Italy. They're nearly all gone. Yes, and it's, it's, um, it's not getting better. It's got a lot worse through the pandemic, of course. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the good feel factor... This summer, of course, as I said, was the football. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was winning medals in the in the, yeah, in the Olympics, and it was winning the. I was there for the final. Eurovision Song Contest. The reason I the reason I couldn't give you credit for the football is I was there. <laughs> Were you there? <laughs> I was there. I was here. <laughs> I couldn't bear, no, I couldn't bear it. You know, no, penalty, I was here in the studio. Pe penalties, I couldn't bear it. <laughs> I know, you know but... I know. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, it was. Fantastic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say anything else. We always lose on penalties, whatever we do. Yeah. Ado, what happens next? Uh, um, what happens next? With is, you. Uh, it, it, you know, it's difficult, Nigel, because um, the restaurant industry is not recovering fast enough. Uh, I was a consultant for a lot of restaurants before the yeah. pandemic. I had fantastic jobs, and uh, that's all dried up. Unfortunately, and it doesn't look like it's coming back in a hurry. Staffing has become a huge problem. Uh, we, we chefs uh, are few and far between. But everything is lorry drivers, it's it's no, chefs. We it's... can't find people in general to work. I can't, I can't even find a KP and you know a kitchen porter. So at the moment it's tough, but I'm managing from home to run a business that I started in the pandemic. You know, with my lovely wife, Nikki. We're still married after two years of working together. <laughs> <laughs> and great food. Um, as I'm... I mean, I'm, it's clearly an advert for Aldo's business, really, yeah. but... <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry I, didn't, I didn't... I don't mean to keep bringing my... No, 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 that's all but, right. You, know, you seem a very happy fellow. It, I, I don't do sad. You seem I, a very happy fellow. Why be sad? You know, I got to where I am, and uh, I'm very healthy um, as a person... I, keep, I try and keep eating the right foods and yep. not drink too much alcohol or very little or none at all. And, you know, it's, it's what you want in life. And all I want in life is my three people that are waiting for me at home and my bigger daughter and my grandchild, my grandson. And is Italian food the best food of the lot? Uh, Italian food, it's... Um, when you say the best food of, uh, uh, the, in the world... It's the most approachable, and people really love it. And, uh, yes, of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> that was Aldo Zilli. Italian food is the best in the world. There's no competition. 
welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.